So, meine lieben Freunde, damit begrüße ich euch zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Quantum Break. Und ja, das letzte Mal sind wir zum Zeitpunkt, äh, zum Punkt der ersten Serienepisode gekommen, die wir uns nun in der heutigen Folge einmal anschauen werden. Wir hatten da jetzt gerade hier so ein bisschen Probleme, ne? Hier einfach hier streamen nicht möglich. Keine Ahnung, ich werde jetzt einfach erneut spielen drücken und hoffe, dass es dann problemlos funktioniert. Ich werde mich für die Zeit, naja, Minuten wahrscheinlich nicht, weil dafür muss ich raustappen, das geht nicht. Aber zumindest werde ich die Fresse halten während der kompletten äh, Serienepisode, damit ihr ganz entspannt gucken könnt und danach werden wir gegebenenfalls noch mal ein bisschen darüber reden. Von daher sage ich jetzt einfach mal viel Spaß bei dieser Folge und äh, ich hoffe, dass man mich nicht hört, falls irgendwie doch mal ich mal hoch meine Nase schnäuben muss oder so. Ja, mein Bestes. Guti, äh, dann bis nachher, würde ich sagen. Time's up. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. The university. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? 
What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You could say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcut. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I packed into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello, me. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's the Come baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Thank you. 
frontiers beyond anything mankind has seen. Along with its innovative research and design programs, Monarch has sought out investments within the city of Riverport in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Sounds oh, like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. Uh, okay. Y yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. 
buddy. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Ooh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, it'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there was nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. 
He thinks Joyce might go there. Hey, he sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees get your flu shots. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying. Look out. Copy. Cut him off. Cut. Go. Come on, you got this.
Yo, das war die erste Episode. Meine Güte. Ja, ähm, ich drücke erstmal Hauptmenü. Da ist ja einiges, einiges passiert, auf das ich jetzt gar nicht so groß eingehen will oder eigentlich eingehen kann, auch um ehrlich zu sein. Ein paar interessante Wendungen, wie viel Fokus sich hier für Liam Burke genommen wurde, habe ich jetzt gerade ein bisschen, <lacht> also ich will nicht sagen gewundert, aber hätte ich nicht, nicht erwartet, er scheint doch noch ein wichtiger Charakter zu werden. Auch, dass man so ein bisschen mehr über seine Hintergrundgeschichte, beziehungsweise halt über seine Familie und so erfahren hat, ne. Ähm, ja, prinzipiell merkt man doch schon, wenn man sich das jetzt anguckt, die äh, Serie, merkt man schon so ein bisschen, dass das jetzt nicht so hochwertig produziert ist, ne. Es ist eben keine Hollywood-Produktion. Klar, man hat schon hier vor allem mit dem Kollegen da und, ne, Lance Reddick zwei hochkarätige Schauspieler dabei auf jeden Fall. Äh, die werten das Ganze auch auf jeden Fall auf, das, das merkt man gerade, ne. Lance Reddick, also der Schwarze, <lacht> ähm, war ja jetzt noch sehr präsent und äh, ja, macht das Ganze auf jeden Fall ganz gut. Ja, äh, was wollte ich sagen? Es ist nicht so hochwertig produziert, man hat es vor allem jetzt in den Kampfsequenzen gemerkt. Also ich grad, fand die Kämpfe da jetzt gerade, die waren echt scheiße geschnitten. Also da, da habe ich einen halben Epilepsy mal wieder bekommen. Action-Szenen, die einfach zerschnitten sind, sind wirklich das Furchtbarste. Da, da könnte ich auch ausrasten. Ich habe schon Schlimmeres gesehen, aber ich habe auch schon deutlich Besseres gesehen. Aber hey, ne, ich meckere hier viel rum. Es ist natürlich immer noch irgendwie ein Videospiel eigentlich. ne? Und dafür, dass es halt eben von einem Videospielentwicklerstudio kommt, diese, diese, diese Szenen, diese, <lacht> diese Szenen. Diese Folgen ist das schon sehr hochwertig gemacht, ne? Und da steckt auch schon auf jeden Fall ein bisschen Budget hinter, das merkt man schon. War ja trotzdem eine coole Idee, mir hat es auf jeden Fall trotzdem gefallen. Und ich bin jetzt auf jeden Fall sehr gespannt, wie es denn jetzt weitergehen wird. Weil ich denke mal, jetzt im Akt 2 spielen wir dann wieder, wieder, wieder Jack, ne? Der ja gerade immer noch irgendwie, dessen Aufenthaltsort nicht so ganz klar ist, ne? Ich meine, Beth hat ihn ja, Beth, wie hieß Beth, ne? Ja, hat ihn zwar jetzt mitgenommen und halt, ne, den anderen, William. Aber wie man ja gesehen hat, sind sie da eben entkommen. Zeit eingefroren, haben die Waffen geklaut und sind jetzt äh, irgendwo. Keine Ahnung, mal gucken. Ähm, ja, da geht es dann beim nächsten Mal weiter. Dann möchte ich jetzt gar nicht mehr viel Zeit verlieren. Ich sage auf jeden Fall danke schön fürs Zusehen. Ich hoffe, es hat gefallen. Und beim nächsten Mal geht es dann mit dem eigentlichen Spiel weiter. Also, ne? Bis dahin. Ciao!